We are live. Are we live yet? We are live. Are we, li are we live? Is yeah. it live? We are live. Hello everyone, are we live? I don't know. I never know if this thing is live. It's live. It's live. We are live on Merging Middle East Facebook page. It appears we are live. And we're coming at you from another one. Where we are we're going to tell people that. Stop telling them where you live. No, we are no. doing our first ever weekly roundup of things happening in the amazing world of motoring. Are there things happening? There are quite a few things happening in the world of motoring. Isn't it been a quiet start to the year? Hasn't it has been, been a quiet start to the year, but you know, Detroit Auto Show has just happened yeah. and Ford has dropped a bit of a clangor on people. A clangor? Yeah, they That <laughs> sounds painful. Yeah. Well, <laughs> They revealed the new Mustang. They did, yeah. A brand new Mustang. Well, it, 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 it's facelifted. It's a huge... Facelifted. It's, it's massive. I'm going to see if I can show people a picture of this yeah. using my trusty phone. There you go. Computer screen thing. Well, I've got it here. Where's, where's, where's the camera? There's the camera. Can you see that? There you go. Yeah. That's the new Mustang. So the one on top is the new Mustang, right? Or is it the one on top and one on the bottom? The one on top is the new one. Yeah. The one, uh, yeah, the, the, new one, the new one is on top. So, 2018. So, yeah. And we put that up and we said to people, you know, what do you think? Which one? What, do you think? what do you think? What do you think? What is that? Yeah. You can right so, now. What do you think? Um, so, we are live at the moment, so you can, you can certainly get involved. Hi, Send Mark. Yes, we are. We are. Thanks for watching us. Who is it? Mark Holmes. Yes, we are live, unfortunately. We are live. Look, I can see myself now. Look, That's very are. boring. That's very boring. Unfortunately. Hey, guys, looking good. Hi, Kareem. Which one Thank is looking you. good? Which one is looking good? He's probably talking about the Patreon. The He's probably talking about the Lego Patreon. That Built by your daughter. Okay, stay back on point. Mustang GT. Point. So, Mustang we, GT. So, we, so we put up... Um, so we will, we will, we will, we will Facebook Live. We're doing a roundup of the last week, loosely. Oh, for Mustang, but, right? He's talking about the Mustang. Also, the Mustang looking good. But we're also... No, I think um, he means the Mustang. And he doesn't like the look of it. I also, think that's what Mark means. Yeah, so we're also here to answer your questions. Any questions you have, anything about like that. About anything. About anything, anything at all. Yeah. You can just throw it up. Um, so Kareem, Kareem, no Kareem says, "Hey guys, looking good." Cool. So there you go. Okay. So we so we put this up, and we had a lot of comments on this, and I'm just going to read through some of those comments, um, the, the safe ones. Uh, <laughs> you have very strong opinions, yeah, people. You have very do, strong do, opinions. And somebody said, "Does brightening up the shades sa save the crowd?" I think that was a bit of a tongue-in-cheek dig. That was, wasn't it? Because At Mustangs go sideways. Go a sideways. car meets into it's not, not it's into not, people. It's not cars dying. that kill people. It's the it's, drivers. It's, so it's, it's, it's Mustangs. <laughs> not Mustang. And then and then Wayne said, "Why change the front fender sheet metal?" It's expensive for such a minor visual effect. Really hope this is not the real thing. Well, as it turns out, it was a real thing because yeah, we actually posted has, it a day early. But Ford has lots of money. They can afford this. Yeah. I mean, you bought a lot of Mustangs. So yeah. obviously, they're going to be able to afford to do a bit of update. It's for you. Now, the question is, Mom do you Adele like it? said the rear seems better. He liked the rear. He said they wanted to change the headlight to respect Mustang what tradition. What about the rear? Uh, it's very minor. It's just with a little... They've the taken the, the lights and they've done like this. Them they've yeah. made them like little yeah. C-shaped, but not much. Yeah. Looks like a Jaguar more than a Mustang, said Omar. So, well, yeah, I mean, it kind of does. I kind of agree with that. Maybe a bit more Aston Martin-ish as well. Um, looks like a tamed pony, Omer said. Oh, uh, okay. that's a bit harsh. Yeah, that is uh, a bit harsh. Some people thought, look, well, the, here's the thing, though. Here was my takeaway on this, right? Yeah. All of you guys that posted on that and said, oh, we don't like it. Oh, it's, it's not Mustang anymore. It's like, you know. Yeah. I'm sorry, but you're the same people, I suspect, who said that about the 2014 Mustang when it was when first it shown in 2013. Yeah. And you're like, oh, it doesn't look like a Mustang anymore. And then what happened? When it arrived here at Altair, everybody rushed out and bought it. And paid well I mean, over the price. Everybody well over because, the price. I mean, good for Altair, but the, I think new Mustangs are everywhere. You have all bought new Mustangs. And you're probably going to buy the new one when it comes out. You are going to buy the new one. Yeah, so... You, oh, sorry, I'm very... Stop. I'm, 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 He's this is watching the, I'm, us. I'm, this is being Facebook us. Exception. Stop it. You guys rock. Mark Holman. Hey, hey, Mark. Thanks for that. We said That's that like nice. five minutes ago. Okay. But you have, uh, Kareem says, but you have to put into consideration the suspension of the V6 engine won't make it that far. There's no V6 anymore. No. There's uh, no V6. Oh yeah, big V6 news. gone. Halas. Is that no the V6. first time... Is that the first time you have a, you've never had a V6 Mustang or a six-cylinder Mustang? Your phone's yeah. ringing. Whose phone? Not mine. Oh, that's not your phone. Another phone is ringing. Yeah. Imagine that didn't happen. Yeah. So, is this the, the first lie. time no V6 Mustang? No V6 Mustang. I don't know. What we have to go with any Mustang heads out there. Tell us, has there ever been a time in the history of the no, Mustang? No, there hasn't. There, there, hasn't. there has, there, there's not been four-cylinder Mustangs, but now you no, only have. No, there have been. No, no. Like, it's not always been in the no. range. 
But but yeah, but there well, has been a time been, in the yeah. 80s, there was a time where yeah. you could only get a four-cylinder and a V8. It was called the SVO and the GT. And there was a time when the V6 or the six-cylinder wasn't available. To be honest, the six-cylinder has never been a great engine. No. I mean, no, no, the car out. one's pretty good, though. Yeah, but it's never... 300 and something horsepower. Up, okay, up till recently. It had more horsepower than the V8, than the V8 of the previous gen that came out. And and all old cars are slower than new or something, ones. whatever it was. You old know? cars are slower than new ones. Yeah. So it had plenty of power. It wasn't too bad. I think. It was but would you buy a V6 Mustang? No. Would you Would you sell any, tell anybody <laughs> like you to buy a V6 Mustang? No, you know, we did though. We did. Because when the previous gen, the, 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 the pre-2015 car, when that was on sale at one point, you could buy the V6 for 99,000 dirhams. And at that time, with a manual. With, with a manual. manual. And at that time, I did tell people to go and buy it. Because hey, that was a bargain. 99,000 you know, dirhams for a Mustang. Mustang. Car that looked like a Mustang with a manual gearbox. Come yeah. on. You know, it's worth it. 300 horsepower. Yeah. Can't, you can't complain. Stick a night exhaust on it. Most people won't know. So, there was a time. Yeah, I would, I would say there was a time. But I think nowadays, it's, um, it should resume shortly. Are we back? Yeah, we're back. Oh, we're back. I don't know. Yeah. So, there was a time. So, just to recap, we were saying that there was a time yeah. when we would have recommended the uh, 99,000 dirham uh, V6 Mustang because it was 99,000 dirham. Yeah. And you could get it as uh, a manual. And, and we, we recommended people, and people did go and buy it, and I'm sure they were quite happy owning that car. Yeah. Uh, but if you're going to buy a muscle car... So Karim says, you don't put in consideration that the suspension of the V6 engine yeah, won't make that. it affordable for many yeah. power so, enthusiasts. Yes, yeah, so I read that. That's why I said that there, there is no more V6. There is no more V6. So what do we think of the EcoBoost? Okay, that's all we've got is EcoBoost Mustangs. Yeah. Yeah. What, <laughs> I'll tell you what I'll do. You know what I'll do straight away. Yeah. I mean, it's a turbo, right? We can whack up the power and beat those V8s. Well, we, we can make it, it more is, powerful than a V8. It is quite popular in America, it turns out, the four-cylinder, because it's one of these cars that after market, car. it's a tuner car, you can yeah. do a lot of stuff with it. Funnily enough, the market that it was intended for, which was Europe, where the Mustang is now officially on sale, is not the market that has adapted to the four-cylinder. No. Four it's gone V8. for the V8. They They've all the gone V8. for the V8, yeah. yeah. So, so that's kind of, that's a bit weird. The Americans have gone for the four-cylinder, and everybody else has gone for the, the V8, but there you go. Yeah. What else has been going on then? Um, we finished our Camaro series. Yes. Going from one pony car to another. I want we, to pretend that's uh, my swag. part. At least I want to pretend it was done. What the seventy swagger? Oh, oh, oh. The disco fever. You call it the oh, disco the fever. Disco. If you knew, if you only knew, loyal viewers, Man, what we went through for those. I really want you guys, those of you that have watched it, and those of you that haven't. Watched, why not? <laughs> watch it now. <laughs> YouTube, YouTube.com <laughs> forward slash Merting Middle East, go there now, watch it, it's also on our webpage, MertingME.com, go there, hit the link at the top, yeah. and I've got, and we put all the transcripts there as well, as well, so everything is there, yeah. all of the five videos, it's a five video mini-series that we created yeah. around 50 years of Camaro, and the cool thing about this was that we realized that there were Camaros in five different generations, so 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, and 2010s, and so what we did is we filmed each one in the style of that decade, including wearing ridiculous outfits mm. for that decade, and I still have my 60s outfits outfit and if you don't watch it I will walk around the streets of Dubai wearing it. That's a threat. I mean that, that was a that was a weapon of mass destruction, those trousers. Yeah, yeah, those paisley yeah. pants. The oh paisley God. pants, seriously. Oh my God. Yeah. If you wanna see the if you ever want to see the paisley pants again, yeah. you better you better go and watch the videos now and then you tell us what you thought about. We love to get feedback. We love to hear what you thought about uh, of the stuff that we do at Motoring Middle East. And we, we do it for you, that. like this right now. We want to hear what you think. We want to see what you guys want, what you want to prove, what you think could, what do you want to see us do next? Yeah, I mean, that was a major project. We had a lot of fun making it. Yeah. It took us a few good months. And big shout out and thanks to James Vijasinga Gan and Carl uh, Benhader yeah. of yeah. Uh, Airworks and uh, Performance yeah. Garage and Bikers Cafe for lending us the cars that we used in those uh, videos. And such beauties they were. We didn't really want to give them back, actually, to be honest. Yeah. Talking of beauties, what do you think of... I'm just going to hold this up to the screen and then we can see that. Actually, it's just stopped, hasn't it? Yeah. Here, let me press play again. Oh, good. Oh, it's sick. Like that. Oh, it's that way. Okay, yeah. that way. What do you think of that? This was the new VW... Get closer. Camper, camper van... Oh, there you go, there you go. Camper van bus. And, and on the face of it, it looks quite a lot of fun, you know, because it looks like one of those old... I VW think it looks really cool. Ball. I think that's... But, Volkswagen should make that right now. But Fine. here's the rub. Here's the rub. What's if, the I rub? Can, if I can tell you back to the beginning of the video again, look at this. No steering wheel. No steering wheel goes no. in and out. Autonomous. No, there's no steering wheel. Oh! It's autonomous. No! Yes. What do you mean it's autonomous? It's autonomous. You, look, look at the lady. She's not driving it. Look. She's not How driving it. How you sell a car Volkswagen that you can't drive? 
No, this, there's no driving anymore. There's no driving. No, no. You just tell it. You tell the VW camper van. So what do you what do you feel about autonomous driving? Because I'm not a big fan of it. No, we, we neither of us. Neither of us are big fans of it. Know. Do you want to see autonomous cars? Do you want to not actually drive anymore? Do you want to be like chauffeured around by basically a digital taxi? Is that what a you digital want? Digital taxi. Is that what you want? You know, because that's that, what's coming, and that's what the manufacturers think you want. But if you don't want it, you have to tell them you don't want it. And if you don't like it, you have to tell them you don't like it. But the thing is, every time the technology comes out, everybody's like, "Wow, this is amazing! I really want lots of." Yeah, but the thing is, like everybody says, it's like the manual gearbox, right? It was like, "Oh yeah, we want manual yeah. gearbox. We yeah. want manual gearbox." Manual gearbox. And then everybody stopped buying them. Manual gearboxes. All of you are like, "Oh, we'll never stop driving manuals, yeah. except for when I go to work and when I take the family out yeah. and I take the kids to school." And you know what? I'm just not going to want a manual car, but I'm surely buy one for my second car. Yeah, sure. I'm surely buy one, and yeah. then nobody buys. And gearbox. you know what? And you know what happens to us, right? We go to the manufacturers and we say, right, make sure you bring a manual gearbox. They say, right, so that we brought a manual gearbox. Here they are. Yeah. Right. None of them sold. None of them sold. Are you going to pay for these? I'm like, no, I, I didn't tell you. Well, I, Volkswagen I, is just uh, selling one through Al Nabuda, the they club brought, sport. They brought. This is hot news, everyone. Don't tell anyone. Don't tell anyone. Don't tell anybody at all. This is secret. The secret. Nobody. Here. Ten. Oh, really you know that we know the Club Sport. It's our favorite GTI. We've been raving about this car since yeah. we drove it. Uh, Go uh, watch the video. Year. It's on YouTube. We absolutely love it. It's one of the best hot hatches out there. And what we said to everybody is like, buy them quickly because there's a very limited number that we're going to get. Turns out we were wrong. There's ten more coming. Manual gearbox. Yeah, I mean, really, what more do you want? A manual hot hatch. I mean, that's going to be a nice, easy, light clutch, easy gearbox. It's going to be easy, but it's going to be epic. In fact, it's the car yeah. that Honda should be making. So let's say, let's say Honda. Let's say Honda. But it is the new Civic Type R, isn't oh, it's, it? It's fantastic. I mean, it, it is. It's such not a great scary. Car. It's not scary. It's an amazing you can car have to fun. drive, just as it is. And then to drive it. Yeah. Um, yeah, Kareem, the phone has been answered. Yeah. Don't worry, Kareem. The person has been killed. <laughs> <laughs> Probably my kids wanting to get home. Yeah. Ah, uh, right. Was I supposed to pick them up? Yeah. Oh. Not your problem anymore. Well, maybe we can send the autonomous bus to pick them up. Autonomous electric bus. Hopefully, you charge it. You charge it. Now, talking, now, sticking with autonomous cars for a bit, um, because the other things I noticed around town, and again, I'll point this at the, at the camera, see if you can see that. How many of you have seen this? If I can hold it straight for a bit, there you go. I mean, it's an effort for you anyway. Yeah, exactly. Pretty... How many of you have seen these uh, and you actually use them? So this is a, a new scheme, RTA approved. It's called U-Drive, and it's actually one of two, because there's also e-car as well. And these are you know, rent by the minute, literally by the second cars. And you sign up to a membership, so yeah. you, you pre-book a car. I think so, it's a good idea, actually. Yeah, so you say, I'm going to, like, whatever so metro sure. station. I'll, I'll hold it up to people can see it. You, you say, I'm going to whatever metro station, and I'm, you I'm, I'm, right. I'm, I'm, the reason why I'm holding it. Can't see me. But, uh, I'm talking here! I'm talking! Just keep talking, nobody will miss you. So that's a, that's a story of my life, isn't it? So, so basically, you pre-book the car, and then you pick it up when you need it, you drive it to where you want, and then you just literally get out of it, lock it, and leave it. Yeah. And then the next person takes it from there. So it's, in a sense, it's a very, very convenient and handy way to not own a car. And, and I wrote a column, uh, and, which is on MotoringMB.com now, if you want to go read it, um, you know, if, for those of people that still read. It, there's no screen, there's no animation, there's nobody no talking. You just um, got to like sit and follow yeah, the words. There's words. To the end of the sentence, yeah. logical but conclusion. Anyway, not, not, being, not meaning to be sarcastic, but yeah. anyway. Um, so the point being was my question is that, you know, is this the end of driving? Will the next generation even bother to get driving licenses? Because um, A, you have autonomous cars, and B, you don't need to own a car anymore. So, who, so why would people even buy cars now? Why would they own them? You know, you don't have to own them. You take the, uh, the, the public transport infrastructure to where you're going, and for the final bit, you just borrow a car, or when you need a car on the weekend, you just book it and you go. I don't, know, I don't know, but a big can of worms. And I don't even like worms. <laughs> I think. The big question is, going forward, especially in the UAE, this is all big picture stuff, right? Yeah. Big picture. I mean, you know, autonomous cars, this is maybe five, ten years off to worry about these things. Let's 20, talk about 20. stuff. Okay, let's, <laughs> 25 years on. They'll be but, on the road. Yeah. yeah. But the thing is, where are the cheap, affordable cars for people? Yeah, but that's the point of these. Yeah. They're cheap, buy affordable. Them. You don't the buy reason them. we have talking about autonomous cars. Look, think of it, right? Yeah. No insurance. No cost, no maintenance, you don't have to pay for tires, you don't, have to, you don't even have to fuel them. You don't pay for anything. You don't have to wash them. No, you don't fuel them. What if you run out of gas? They fuel them. No, but what if you run out of petrol? Actually, that would be a very... Book another one. Yeah, that's 
Ooh, that's genius. You dump, you dump it where it is, you walk down the road, you jump into the next one, take off the net. That's genius. That is absolute genius. So there you go. You know, that's, that's what it is. Mark Holmes said yes, unfortunately. I don't know what he was referring to. No, but I think it's a Mustang, Mustang. He's oh, right, right, these columns. Right. I'm reading them all backwards now. Yeah. yeah. So, but like I said, weekly broadcast from Mojo Middle East. Do get involved with yeah, your comments. Yeah. We are trying to pick up on your comments as we go. And if you have any questions, by all means, do ask them and we'll try. And we'll get back to you on those as we're going. And yeah. we'll go for a little while. Yeah. Um, I do hope that you can hear us and see us and that you're yeah. enjoying this. Yeah. And then do let us know what you think of A, autonomous cars, and B, uh, these little rental schemes, which are basically, we think, are going to eradicate the concept of car ownership completely. Are these cheap cars? I mean, the kind of people who want to have cool cars, and let's be honest, that's the people watching this, they will always find a way to have cool cars. The people who can't afford to have cars or basically want to get one step above a metro pass, for them, it's ideal. Now, talking of cool cars, I was actually walking the other day, and if I can point this at the camera again. It doesn't happen very often. Yeah, it doesn't happen I was very walking, often. And I walked past the Alpha showroom on Sheikh Zayed Road, and this car is still in there. That's the gorgeous Alfa Romeo 4C. Why, why is it still in the why showroom? Why is the 4C still in the showroom? I mean, it is an incredible, it is a modern classic. I mean, for the person who can afford it, it's not cheap. It's, it's not, not, not cheap. cheap. It's no, not cheap. Admittedly, it's not cheap. But what a drive. I mean, I've driven this car about two I only three heard times. it and I want to own it. I've, I've, I've driven it about three times. It's a burping, truck. gargling, little, little monster for a little car. And yeah. it's so special. When you drive this, you know, I guess you could have a Cayman. Yes, you could have a Z4 or whatever, but this feels so alive and Italian and fresh and fun. And to be honest with you, you'll remember every time you drive it. And isn't that the point of having a cool car? No, so, I mean, it, is, it is an incredible thing and it is special. It's not like a normal car. And, excuse me, it does, it does require an effort to drive. You don't just jump in. Yeah, and drive yeah fair play. I mean, you know, if you're looking for a car to sort of gently cruise around Karama or whatever, good luck. Because it is an absolute fighter of a car. Oh, yeah. No power steering. No power steering. No power steering. No, hardly any rear visibility. It has an automatic, but it might as well be a manual. Yeah, but hardly have to drive any rear visibility. So you can't see behind you? No. At all? No, no. But what is there behind you that's an automatic? Is that, your, say in some is that, your, super, is that your Super Mario <laughs> accent? It's not important. Yeah. Uh, ha ha, good one, MT, says Bippin. Yeah. I don't know what he's talking about. He's a mate of mine. Hi, Bippin, how are you doing? Hello, Bippin. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, Kareem says, speaking of... Alpha, I'm getting all the compliments here. Let's be honest, this should be the Intishan one hour. Uh, you're in my house. Yeah. I She's in my house. It's your house for now. That's my showcase. Yeah. Um, we'll take over. You guys yeah. Uh, Kareem says, speaking of Alpha, what do you guys think of the quadrifolio? I love it. I absolutely... What's the quadrifolio? The Juliet. The Julia QV. Is that the Guilia? The, the, yeah, the, the 500 horsepower, 500 the plus horsepower. Quadro for Marshi. I absolutely love it. I drove it about a year ago at the Blocker test track in Italy. And it's one of those cars. Now, I'm not a great track driver. I'm not really that comfortable driving on circuits. And Blocker is a test circuit. Or even a test. No, straight line with a little bit of wiggle is fine. Um, a little, corner, little cornering is little okay. Corner. And I jumped into this car. And, and, and this is a European press launch. So there's none of this, like, you know, chaperone anything. They give you the car, they give you the car, and they like, off you go, straight out on the yeah. track. So first time I've ever driven a Julia yeah. uh, QV, and I'm straight out onto the track. Yeah. But I've got to tell you, it's one of those cars that becomes uh, uh, immediately friendly, immediately open, immediately communicative, immediately reassuring. I mean, like, within a couple of corners, you, I was throwing this thing around because, you know, not very well, but I was throwing it around because that level of confidence it's something that I find you don't often get with a lot of modern cars because they're overtired, overgripped. They, you need a, a, a level of technical a expertise. Drive. You need to be like a NASA rocket you scientist. You need to be. You need to be. I, I mean, you could have a other end of the scale, uh, Corvette Z06. Yeah. Great car, 640 horsepower. But to be honest, you would be better off, and I don't mind admitting this, you would be better off leaving the traction control on, the stability control on, oh, yeah. because you will not die. Oh yeah, you don't, because that dying is very And to be honest, they make you faster. Very inconvenient. The dying. systems are designed, yeah, well, you know, it's hard to make the rent payments yeah, when you're dead. Yeah. But, but the traction control, stability control in those cars make you faster. Hard to believe, because, you know, we've been taught by Clarkson and everybody yeah. else that you have to stab it off. As soon as you get into the car, just turn no, it off. No, 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 don't, Actually, don't no. touch these things. Don't touch, because that's when bad stuff happens. That's when embarrassing stuff happens and insurance bills go up. Don't, I mean, don't touch the, don't, don't touch the buttons, you know? yeah. unless you really, really know what you're doing, yeah. and unless you're prepared for the consequences, 
the uh, expense and the consequence because it won't be cheap in a car that's zero six. We had a call the other day, didn't we, on the radio? We do yeah. the radio show on Dubai Eye, um, which is very similar to this, except very similar to this. So yeah. Nine o'clock Monday is on Dubai Eye. We do a radio show, yeah. and we had a caller on there one time, and he said, "I've just bought a, a Challenger." And uh, what mode do you think I should drive it in? And we're like, the we'll normal. leave it in the mode that it's in. Because it was an SRT. It was a, not an SRT, it was an SRT, it was it, a scat pack. It was a scat pack. So oh, that does sound right, doesn't it? Scat yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's kind of don't, cool. Google. Don't, don't Google. Google. Don't Google. Don't Google. No, don't Google, Google. Google in relation to Dodge, right? Because yeah. what it, basically, you get the regular car, but with the bigger engine. You get the SRT. Yeah. Actually, it's very good value. Basically, the six points, the cheapest way to yeah. get the 6.4392. You won't get the suspension, but I'm sure you clever people can go and find suspension. Yeah. So you can upgrade way. things and stuff like that if you want to. It's but a builder was, special. But he was like, you know, should I just turn the traction systems off? And I'm like, no, because those cars, and we, we've had a lot of experience with Challengers and Hellcats and it's even It's a roti, roti car. Even with, every, with all the systems on, yeah. they're a handful. Yeah. Even with the systems off. Yeah. So I, I, I didn't turn the systems off, yeah. honestly. Yeah. Unless I'm on a track or a drag strip or something like that, don't, don't turn the systems off, you know? What was the other car that we pretty much, if you didn't left everything on it, was still near, damn near undrivable. I'm thinking of the, the F-Type. Hell, the the hell Jaguar type. F-Type. The F-Type, yeah. Which actually, it's not so easy to get now because it only comes in all-wheel drive. But in our market, actually, it still comes as rear-wheel drive in the coupe and the convertible. And you need to drive one of those cars. That's 500 rampaging British Italians and they no, go sideways. Even with everything on, it will go sideways. Kareem makes a good point. He says, I think autonomous cars should be applied to crowded cities, but open road driving should be left alone to the drivers. It's a good point. Yeah. But then where is the open road out here? I mean, where is it? Well, out of Dubai. How far? I mean, Dubai never seems to end now. Dubai has grown and grown and grown. True. I mean, IMPZ, yeah. if you live there, Sports City, if you live there, 10 years ago, that was desert. That was desert, yeah. That was desert. Where C- is the open road? Cities keep expanding. Cities yeah. keep expanding. That's what happens. But the US so, is not a very big country. So all, all those that are joining us, uh, we're doing a live broadcast. It's uh, the weekly roundup. We're going to do it's a weekly. It's a collector's edition. It's the first edition. It's first edition. It's collector's edition. Keep this handy. It'll be worth <laughs> nothing in the future. Absolutely nothing at all. Uh, even if we autographed it, because that's totally worthless as if well. If autograph but your screen right now, just autograph it. We've autographed your <laughs> screen. And <laughs> we are not responsible if you go that's to it. your... Um, Take it to an auction in, say, 50 years' time. And if you go back to Sharaf and you turn up with a screen, funny, we are not paying for anybody's screens. You, you'll get almost all of 10 fills, and that's accounting for inflation. So yeah. that's quite extraordinary. So what we're doing... We're just I have autographed. Have you seen my broken watch? Mm-hmm. My hideously broken... I'm going to show you a picture. It is. So, um, so we're just doing a roundup of what's been going on in the world of motoring here and abroad, and we're also taking your questions. Uh, so just put your questions in the comments below, or your comments, or tell us if you think we're something horrendously eating, ugly. Something or bugging. now's the time. Yeah, go for it. You know. Yeah. Um, and uh, we've just been talking about loads of stuff about cars, about traction pills. So now I want. Now I don't know how to do this, but I'm oh, well, if so I can show you this, if I can show, I don't know. This is working. Can I just show you this? I don't know how stay, many stay, of you stay, seen stay, this. Still. Stay, stay, stay still. Stay still. There you go. How many of you have seen Probably the not. trailer for new Jackie Chan movie, the part of which was filmed right here in Dubai? Now Seriously? we have more phones ringing. I have no idea why. Just ignore that. I'm going to carry on talking about the sound of the ringing phone. This is live, folks. Absolutely yeah. live. And get on with it, Jackie. Come on, Jackie. Get on with it. Stop waving your finger around. I want to get to the action bit. Chat, Here we go. Yeah. So here we have the camel races. This is all filmed in the UAE. And uh, just hold it. And I'm going to try and kill that phone um, from ringing. I will kill this phone. Show, this from is the crappiest way ever to show a film clip. Right. Okay. Yeah. Film. That's the Atlantis Dubai. That's good enough. Yeah. And, 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 what, and what it is, is that there's, there's cars driving on each other. There's like... Pagani's driving along, That's and Pagatis or yeah. whatever, and the Dubai police cars. There's loads, loads of action, and there's loads of, as you would expect from a Jackie Chan movie, yeah. and there's loads of on-road action well, can see as well. Yeah. And um, there you go, there's a McLaren. And, and Karim just said, too much CGI. Yeah, yeah. Well, you so know that, what? So that was my question, is that, you know, and, and, and I find it a bit of a shame, because I'm a bit of a fan of Jackie Chan. I've, I've, I've greatly enjoyed all of his movies, especially his older stuff, including the police cop series. And Jackie was one of you these mean police guys, story. Police story, yeah. And Jackie was one of these guys that he would hang off the side of a building with one cable and, and do a stunt. He was a guy that broke his leg and carried on filming, you know, but just painting a trainer over the cast. But and now he's, he's using all this CGI stuff, and I'm just a little bit like well, I'm a bit disappointed, really, because I 
you know, uh, decades that I expected stuff to be real. I mean, what do you guys think? You know, we see all these car chases and everything going on in the streets of Dubai, but are they cool because they streaming? And streaming. we're back. Are System we back? message. We're back. Are we that back? was my father's fault. My father decided to start calling now. Oh dear. Yeah. Um, okay. Doing? Yeah. Sorry, guys. There was slight interruption in our first collector's edition broadcast. Live. This is slightly less collectible, <laughs> but it's still pretty collectible. Yeah, yeah, this is about worth like 1% less. You know, it's so. like all those, um, those comic books in the 90s that you all are sure are going to be worth a lot of money. They're actually not worth any Yeah, so keep all. this one wrapped in plastic. Yeah. How do you do that? You oh. go to a company called... Um, there's a company that slabs them. This actually doesn't comics. slab. Yeah, comics, yeah. Yeah, but how are you going to slab your Facebook Live? Yeah. No, 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 yeah, well, you know, you slap your phone, obviously. <laughs> hey, with Daisy, we slap everything. Yeah, we cover everything in plastic. Cover everything in plastic. Yeah. My sofa's with plastic before you came in. And yeah. I got rid of the plastic. It's fine. Yeah. CGC, that's what it's called. It's a company that grades them. They actually yeah. have some great comic books. They're worth literally nothing more than the other ones. Yeah. Has this got anything to do with cards? No. Okay. So, <laughs> so I thought I, I can do whatever I like. Right, all right, fine, yeah. whatever, yeah. whatever. Yeah. So, uh, picking up on where we left off, what else has been going on? Uh, we sent a uh, Mr. Noel Ebden to Detroit to cover the motor show, and then he came back and we said no rest for the wicked, then we sent him off. Oh, and then he drove a cruise as well. Yeah. I don't know what happened to that. He hasn't told us about that yet. And then he went off to Italy. Uh, no, where did he go? To Spain? Somewhere. Madrid. He went to Madrid and he to drove the Ave- Lamborghini Aventador S. Show him a picture of that, in case they want to go to it. Somebody it? asked me on the radio. Aventador S. Stop moving around. Um, um, Aventador S. What is new about the Aventador S? And I was at a loss. What is new about the Aventador S? I don't know. It's got a bit more power. It's got like the rear wheel steer a little bit. And uh, it's got a new nose on it. Which I don't necessarily think is an improvement. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of what Lamborghini yeah. is doing with these cars. This is, it's got like fangs. It's got fangs. It's, fangs. it's got an overbite. It's got fangs like that. See, it's got its fangs out. You can't see your face. It's got its fangs out. Ah. Um, so, I don't know, maybe... Like, you see what I had to put up with, you yeah, see what I had to put uh, up with. You know, so, uh, I, I don't know, I mean, you tell us what you Third think of that one. Dracula. Uh, <laughs> they, see, they see Dracula. Christopher Lee, you know. No, uh, you know no. uh, but, so let us know what you think of the Lamborghini Aventador S. Yeah. Now, uh, there's a funny thing about the Aventador, because I did the launch of the original Aventador. You know, they used that door, the Aventador was new when yeah. they started off. And, 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 and when they launched it, yeah. they said it's going to be a limited production. Because they could only make a certain number limited of Limited by whom? By, from limited the cast. Because they said from the, cause it's all fiberglass, right? Yeah. So the, uh, sorry, carbon. So they said there's only a limited number that we can pull from the cast before it starts to degrade. You this is their biggest selling car. You believe that, did you? you I did. That. I'm it's, gullible like it's that. It's like I the am. Gallardo, which is like, oh, we'll never make that 15,000 cars. I'm as gullible as a Gallardo. The Gallardo was their best selling car. Best selling Lamborghini in Lamborghini history. And, and to be honest, my favorite Lamborghini. I, 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 still, I still rate the Gallardo. Yeah. Giardo, also because Leger. it sounds like me. It super sounds Leger. like me. Oh. A Giardo in a Giardo. Yeah. It's just things that you know. I mean, that's just weird. Uh, that's a TV show, right there. Giardo, uh. Giardo. I'll be fighting crime. That's it. I'll be um, fighting crime in the mean streets of Dubai safely with the police. There you go. There you go. A bit but, weird. Yeah. But what you really drive is 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 a Ram, and this is the Ram. You can see no, it. it's the all you can see is a Ferrari. And, and, oh yes, there's a Ferrari in the foreground. All they can see is the Ferrari. There you go. So we've been out coming filming soon. a Ferrari, so stay tuned. Soon. We've got some, we've got a video that we're doing uh, on that, and we'll be uploading that as well. Um, so have a look at that. And um, what else has been going on? Uh, we did the, we did the, 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 the there was, there was the, the, the putting out the fire on, on the bridge. That was the most incredible way wow. of putting out a fire. So for those of you who haven't seen I've it, I've ever seen it's brilliant. The uh, <laughs> Dubai Civil Defense has put out a video where this fire is happening on what's supposedly floating bridge. I don't think it is floating bridge, but it's a mock drill. It's a mock drill, and this fireman goes on a jet ski, you know, like in a Jackie Chan movie, yeah. and he goes up there, and then he does. He uses one of those jet boat things to float out of the water and then yeah. put out the fire. It's I mean, pretty, it's like a superhero. He's a superhero. He's, seriously, he's flying there he's and he's putting out a fire. I, I, I want to be a fireman if you, now. If you've drawn images of like Superman flying, hovering in the air above a, of a fire and then putting it out with his super breath, that's effectively that's what this was. That's not, that's Godzilla. No, that's Superman. That's, and that's <laughs> effectively, that's what he was How doing. How does Superman eat anything if he blows the restaurant down? No, no, it's, it, it's cold super breath. 
So how does he sit with this? How does he have dinner? What if he burps? What if he burps? He eats it up with his eyes. What if he burps? He eats it up with his eyes. It knocks down the city. So, so that's what, <laughs> but I thought it was absolutely magnificent, I thought it was absolutely fantastic. It was a very, very Civil defense, well put. I mean, obviously it's a bit of fun, but I think yeah. it's pretty cool. And to be honest, I want to be a fireman now because they do a very important job. And I want oh, to all respect, all respect to the fire people. If you see a guy Incredible. driving a fire engine coming up behind you or an ambulance. Get out of the way. Honestly, the number Don't of Don't follow him. Oh, he has a heart attack, you know. Let them through. Do not block the way for civil defense. Honestly, people. the number of times that I'm sitting in traffic and there's a there's a there's a something with this blues and twos on and the sirens are blaring and people are just sitting there on their phone. Area's turned up and they, and they they might hear something. And they go, oh well. Does you never know. You might be praying for that or somebody has to need the needs that out. I mean, so so rescue service vehicles. Give them respect. Always give them room. Do whatever you can to let them through because it's very very important. It literally is yeah. a matter of life and death. It yeah. absolutely is. So what else have you been up to? What have you done to your truck lately? Well, you've been working on your truck now, right? My truck is done. Uh -huh. What have you been doing? Famous here? last words. Uh, yeah. um, my Ram, which I have bought, has now been considerably modified and is now lifted. It's on 33 inch tires. So it's got a very nice lift on very, very expensive shocks. Uh, stage two King suspension. Uh, it's also got a custom front bumper with our name on it. That actually says motoring added laser. So you can't cutting. mistake it. You can't mistake it. There is no other there. truck like this in Dubai. So if you see it, it says a red truck, flame red, I believe is the color Dodge calls it or Ram calls it. And it has um, gold wheels. Can't miss it. Because can't miss I'm, it. I am an Indian gold jeweler. I put part time. No, I wore Clio of the 1990s. I found, it, I found a picture, it's not a great picture because you can't see the gold wheels because I think you're getting the alignment or tracking done or something, yeah? Yeah. yeah. But there it is, there is the uh, front bumper on it as well and stuff like that. You'll yeah. see it around town, you cannot miss this thing. Yeah. No, it's, it's incredible. But here's the crazy thing about it, it is more economical to run than my Jeep. That's crazy. How because it has, from the eight cylinders, it goes down to four and it has an eight speed gearbox. So on highways, it's just chugging along. The engine's barely running. It's a little Honda Accord when it's running along. Oh, they put a, no, I could put a, a, could put a, a 1980s uh, Honda Civic, That's but now, you. yes, you could put the Ram in the Civic. <laughs> we didn't really like the new Civic and it's not for lack of trying. We, yeah. we really wanted to like the Civic. We're both, we both, but I, the new Civic for us misses the mark a little bit. What do you think? I mean, feel free to jump in and say something because we're the only, we only way to know if you're listening. Yeah. But <laughs> and immediately people jumped up when you say Honda Civic, like Honda Civic? What? what? Honda, Honda Civic. Civic to be better. And we want the Civic to be good. It'd and be nice if it's good because it is one of the best selling little. Uh, it should well, be a dark fun car. Cylinder. It's not really little anymore. No, it's, it's an accord size car. Yeah. So the city is the new Civic. And the Jazz, you know, the Jazz was the Civic hatchback. Civic hatchbacks are great. You had a Civic CR. Yeah. Well, American that's an American one. That's American. That's American one. Uh, we, had the, we had one in the UK. Manual gearbox. It was like a Mini Cooper. That's what it was like. They it was a Japanese Cooper, not the Mini new Cooper. One. It was like a Mini Cooper. It's hilarious good fun to drive. Yeah. Absolutely amazing to drive. Yeah. But no, utterly brilliant. Utterly brilliant. So uh, this has been a roundup that we've done. We've been looking back comments and some of your questions and we've been answering them and giving our mm -hmm. responses to you out there as well. Um, let us know what you thought of this and let us know if you'd like this to be a regular thing because we're thinking of doing this. We're just going to keep doing it anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, whatever you think. We, it we're matter. really just interested, partially, but we're going to keep doing it. Yeah. Also, we want to know the more thing I'm, the thing I'm, I'm more interested in knowing as I stumble all over my words. When would you like us to do it? Because this is in the middle of the day. I imagine yeah. a lot of you doing this are at work or unemployed, in which case go get a job because you need a job. <laughs> it's really important. <laughs> that's a bit. That's a bit like dictator. Yeah, go out and get some work, you lazy layabouts. What's the matter don't, with you? Don't sit around. All. If you're in school, go back to class. Go back to class. I mean, what are you doing watching videos on Facebook? Go back to class. But if you're in the middle of the night... They could be like really dedicated and they, and they could be like really interested in... They're watching MME, they're not dedicated. ...the stuff that we're talking about right now. Just really... So, my, qu my question was, should we do this in the evening? Should we do it in the evening? Should we do it in the daytime? What, what time, time of the evening? What time Dinner of the week time, do you want lunch time, what do you want? When would you like to hear us talk about cars? When do you Ramble want to talk on. about cars? Ramble on. You know, Occasionally about cars. Yeah. Well, right now I just get a stern lecture about going <laughs> staying in school or finding suitable employment because you know you need Doing a visa. Yeah. Uh, and also, like, just let us know. You can also comment on this and tell us uh, what topics you'd like to talk us about. Any questions that you yeah. have? Any particular areas you want us yeah. to cover? Any debates you want to have? Uh, anything short of uh, you know blood and stuff. 
flying around, you know, because it's, it's my apartment and I don't really want to mess things up, you know, it's just, it just gets really difficult with the yeah. cleaner and stuff like that, so yeah, we don't want to do that. But anything apart from that, but apart from us taking... What are you saying is it's an option? Yeah. <laughs> if we can convince the cleaner, it's an option. Yeah, 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 yeah. But other than that, let us know what you think, let us know what you want us to do, what you want us to cover, and uh, yeah, we hope to see you soon again right here on Facebook Live. Thanks for watching.